Hello everyone. Welcome to the gate lecture series. The first topic that we are going to cover is the operations first and operations management, which is a common topic for mechanical and production and industrial paper. The subjects that we are going to discuss today is uh, project management techniques, where we will learn about the network analysis techniques like PERT and CPU. So my name is Arun Krishnan. Once again, welcome to the lecture series. As an introduction, uh, what is a project? So for giving an example, it could be a construction project, it could be a space expedition, or it could be a research and development, or it could be even a movie. So there will be plenty of activities which is happening on every project. So take the case of a movie, there will be uh, acting will be there, cinematography is there, choreography, casting, post-processing. There are plenty of things which will be happening and uh, all many of them might be interrelated. So, uh, and also there will be uh, resources like people are there, then uh, money is involved in that. Time is a constraint. So there are plenty of resources and constraints are also there. So as a, as a project manager, what is your role? So the role of a project manager is to control, plan and schedule those activities. So that will, that is what we are going to learn. So that is a, the, that is a topic of importance to us. So uh, project is very quite dynamic, uh, means uh, any any change that going to come or any change happening in any of these activities can affect uh, the upcoming activities and it can affect the entire project. So that is what we are going to learn today. So how can we anticipate those things? So people have come up with many models or uh, how, to or how to represent the, a project. So the mostly accepted uh, method to represent a project is the network. Network is nothing but the graphical portrayal of activities and events. So it will give us, it will uh, make us understand how the relations between each and every event is happening and how the project can be progressed and uh, where are the things that we are, means what are the things that we are, which is very critical and we should focus on and what are the uh, least important things. So this, this is uh, what network means. So network shows the dependency relationship between tasks and events in a project. And also um, we could able to understand what are the things coming before the certain activities and what should be the uh, activities which has to be happen after certain activities. So preceding activities and succeeding. So it's just, it's a powerful tool for this uh, project analysis. The main network techniques that we are going to learn is PERT and CPM. So PERT is uh, project evaluation and review techniques, which is developed by US Navy association with uh, uh, Booz Hamilton Lockheed Company. This, this, was, this was for a missile project for a submarine in 1958. So in the similar time, CPM was also evolved. Uh, it is CPM is known as critical path method developed by a company named El Dupont for the first time. And it was for a chemical plant shutdown. So the basic uh, idea behind these two uh, network techniques are similar. The calculations are also similar. But CPM is generally used for those projects which we are familiar with. Suppose for a construction work. So we know the activities of the construction work, even the construction structure and the other things are different. So we, we know the activities and we can, uh, the, we know the duration of each and every activity. So for those kind of uh, uh, projects, which we have a prior experience, we can use a deterministic model. So CPM is used uh, as a deterministic model. Whereas for a new project where we are not so familiar or uh, we don't know what is the what are the things which is going to happen. So those projects like a uh, satellite launching or uh, uh, a research and development project. So those things, uh, since even though we know the activities, we don't know about the durations where we have to have an estimation of those uh, time duration for completion of the project. So there we will use the probabilistic approach. So PERT generally de deals with the problem. Coming to the terminologies which is used in the network, one is activity. Activity is represented with an arrow. Uh, so the blue thing which is shown is an activity. So activities uh, and event is nothing but the point of time where the which, which has to show the uh, starting or finishing of certain. So it's, a, it's just a point of time. So where I begin the activity. So it can be uh, start, start event where I begin or finishing event which I end that. So it is also known as node. So, uh, so uh, there can be uh, activities which is coming before uh, certain activities, which is known as preceding activity, 
and there can be activities which is coming after certain activities which is known as success so network is nothing but the combination of all activities and events so let's discuss about uh, how to make a network using the uh, given data so for uh, making a product which has two parts one is a plastic body and another thing which ha we have to make so there are only four activities i have to buy the plastic body and uh, get it from the market the second thing is i have to make the component for making that component, I have to design the component first and using a manufacturing process, I have to make that component. And the third thing is to assemble them together. So for this thing, uh, we know that for buying, uh, for getting something from the market, we don't have any criticism. We don't have any prior requirements. So we can directly go to buy that plastic body. So that does not have any immediate produce. The second uh, activity is, which is B uh, has to, means we have to make the, uh, design for making the component we have to make the design so for designing also we don't have any prior requirements so that, that also does not have any immediate produces but for making uh, the component the design has to come out that's why for the activity c there is an immediate producer which is b which, which means that i can only start c after i complete uh, the task b so that's uh, that's what is known as immediate produces similarly for the uh, task D, I have to, uh, for assembling that product, I have to have the uh, board product, plastic body from the market, and I have to uh, have the main uh, component, which I, which I made from the design. So that's why for the activity D, we have to complete the activity A and C. So let's uh, draw the project. So taking now, so this is the my starting node. So I can uh, immediately start A without any delay. So this is A, this I call A. And activities can be represented with the numbers so that we know what are the activities that we are going to use. And there has to be an arrow head to uh, know from where to where it is going. Now, uh, second is B. So B does not ha also have any immediate participants. So I can start from the same node uh, A node one so uh this is my this i can call it three and this is my b now for c b has to means b is an middle so uh, we know that uh, c has to start from here so let's let's draw c for here so this is my fourth node and this is my activity C. Okay. Now for D, there is a relation that uh, both C has to complete and D. So how to uh, put that thing? So we can have a dummy operation activity so that uh, so we can put a dummy over here to see the relationship here. Either, either other, otherwise you can put an arrow head back to A and uh, put that uh, D like here. I will show you. Dummy does not. Uh, dummy is rep rep usually represented with an uh, dotted arrow. Dummy activity does not have any uh, time associated with it. This is with no. This is D. So this is one way to do it. Anyhow, arrow heads has to be removed. This is one way to do it. Otherwise, uh, we can. Uh, uh, so this means that D for D, uh, both A and C has to be complete. And uh, uh, since there is no relation between uh, these two and four, and also we have a we have to give a precision relationship. That's why we use the dummy activity. So this is dummy. So and uh, also suppose if I'm if I know the network, then I can draw like this. So this is my node A. So I'll I'll my node A. This is my node B. And uh, this is my node C. Not node, the activity C. Now I can put uh, the dummy activity here. And I can start D. This way also, 
we can do the dummy. So this is also the main activities. So this is how we uh, draw the networks. So I just deliberately took this uh, example to, to uh, uh, make, uh, make you understand what is what a dummy activity means. Dummy activity does not have any uh, any 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 time associated with it, but it has to be there to show the precedence relationship. Further to proceed, I have extended that uh, the previous example um, with three new activities, that is E, F, and G, and also I have given durations. So let's uh, start uh, making the network. So this is A. This is B. C. D. Okay. E and F is starting from C. Okay. So let's let, let me draw it roughly and then we will edit it uh, and I will, I will explain it. Let this be E and let this be F. Suppose if I'm going forward one by one, what will happen is you know that uh, from this chart, we can uh, know that D, E, F are merging together to form G. Now, if I draw this, then there will be a problem. So how can we merge them together, right? So that's the problem. So these uh, nodes, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, D node, uh, ending, finishing node of D, finishing node of E, and finishing node of F is a single node, and it has to be merged together. So uh, for that, we uh, we need to edit this thing. So so let this be the node. And let me draw again. It can be done in uh, any ways. Uh, suppose I put this here. So this is my D node. And this is my E node. Now F uh, is starting from C and ending it uh, this uh, starting from this node and ending it this node. Let's number them so that uh, there will be C. So E and F is uh, similar means. Uh, it is. It has. It has a starting uh, node at four and ending at five. So suppose these two activities, which is it is having same uh, uh, starting node and ending node, then also we use a, a dummy activity so that we have to. We can understand that these are two different activities having uh, same starting and ending. So let me draw it here. This is my node six, and this is my activity F, and I have to have a dummy. Now I can put G. So this will be my seventh node, and this is my activity G. Now it satisfies all the relations. So for G, D, E, and F are the immediate producers, and also <coughs> the duration. We can represent it. So A is uh, so just uh, I can I can represent uh, if it is I have uh, represented it A before um, uh, below above the uh, line I can put it below or along with the number along with the digit alphabet I can put the digit three four C is six D is five E is seven. F is five and G is four. So these are dummy activities. So the, the duration will be zero. So this is how you construct a network. So for the same uh, example, which, is, which was given given there. So let's uh, uh, see 
how to uh, what are the uh, the paths the path is nothing but uh, a it is the connection of activities which will be used to finish means from the start to finish what are the activities coming in between suppose uh, the the means it, uh, in in terms of nodes we can see that there is a starting node and there will be a finishing node so what are the activities the sequence of activities which is connecting the starting node and finishing node that is known as that sequence is known as the path so uh, there can be plenty of paths in a network so here you can see that a d and g a d g is a path similarly b c e g is a path b c e b c f g is a path so, so there could be plenty of paths in that and also uh, the paths can also be termed in terms of nodes 1 2 5 7 5 4 is a path 1 3 Four seven is a path. So in, in both ways, you can represent in terms of activities or in terms of nodes. So let let's list down all the all the paths uh, which is possible. So I will I will write both means uh, in uh, alphabets and digits. So one three four seven, which is also A B G. Now one two five four. Seven, G, B, C, E, G. Now one, two. Then I can uh, go to five, and then I can go to three and four. Then seven, which is B. Dummy, we don't have to represent B, C, D, G. Where uh, where we can we know that from five to three it's a dummy activity but we don't have to give because there is no time for uh, there is no time used for dummy activity just to give a precedence relationship then one uh, two five six seven which is B C F G So you can know that starting node is always this one, and the ending node is always the seven. Now, uh, length of the path is a duration. Suppose um, these uh, uh, these are given in time, in, in the time is given in weeks. So how many weeks it will take, or if it is given in months, then how many months it will take? So let's let's uh, assume that it's in weeks. So A D G means three plus five plus four, which is twelve, uh, right? So we can put it twelve. Now, oh, this one B plus C that is ten. Then E seven seventeen plus four. This is twenty one. Twenty one. Now B plus C ten. Ten plus D five fifteen. Fifteen plus four nineteen. Now B plus C ten. Plus ten plus five plus four also nineteen. now you can see the definition of what is a critical path critical path is the uh, uh, is the longest path so this is the crux so this is the longest path so uh, among this thing which one is the longest path i think it is the 21 so this one 1 to this one 5 4 7 or b c g which is having the length of 21 this is the highest so this is not a critical path why it is not a not a critical path is it is the lengthiest part and the total project time will depend on this part so any delay which is happening for this part or the activities which is in this part will delay the complete uh, project time the completion of the project okay so critical path is generally denoted by the dark line so let's uh, so let's uh, one let's draw one more line over there so this is the critical path so this is one uh, b c B C E and G. Okay, so you can represent in a dark line or anything. This is just a representation. Or uh, so you have to understand that the, the, why it is the, the the name itself suggests it is a critical. Event. So the, these events are known as critical events, and the path is known as critical path. And the project uh, length is uh, the completion time for the project will be the length of the project. 